Hi, I'm here today to talk to John McCrory of McCrory's Removals of Inverclyde. Hi, John. Hello, hello, Steve. Good to meet you. Yeah, good to meet you too. Now, you have been in the removals game a long time. Can you just tell us, give us a bit of background on your career in the re removals industry? Like I was a young lad in, uh, way back, 18, 19 years of age. A chance of a wee uh, doing some work for, for a, a big organisation, Bigfoot, which, which obviously everybody probably knows. Uh, yeah, it's quite, quite famous, aren't they? So I went on there and I worked at Bigfoot for many, many years as a subcontractor, a driver. You know, and I think, I mean, I was there about 18 years or something on and off and, you know, they closed a lot of depots. I didn't see any future there. You know, I had to end up selling my house and saved up enough funds once I sold the house to purchase my first wee van. Um, and then, you know, around about 2002, 2003, you know, I started the business. The business became very successful. And then uh, right through to 2007, 2008, everybody knows what happened then. Very, very difficult times. It uh, was uh, indeed. A lot, a, lot, a lot of business could get caught in it. Eh? It, was, it, was, it was a tough, tough, tough mark. And people weren't moving as well, John, were they? They stopped moving then. It was, it was an awful time, Steve, you know. And as I said, it, it was, I was fortunate that I'd won some awards. I was able to then gain some local authority contracts. And that got us coming through to 2011, 2012 when I had a, a horrific accident and whilst on business, you know, I had to get through six operations. I was out of action for probably four and a half, five years. I didn't think I was going to work again, but obviously I got myself a tune again and I started to come back. People knew who I was, so I didn't find it too hard to, to obviously, you know, get myself sorted out again. And here we are as McCrory's we were in McLean, doing doing very, very well. And never thought that I would see something similar to 2007, 2008 again. But, you know, look what's happened. But as I say, we're doing well. I've got myself involved with the business. My wife, obviously, does a lot of administration. My daughter, who's obviously in full-time employment, is an engineer, but very smart with the computers and stuff. And she does a lot of my, my, obviously, my invoices, my quotes and so on. So it's a massive help because, obviously, I was a one-man a one man, a, a, a kind of business, if you get what I'm saying, quoting, doing the moves, you know, doing all the administration and so on and so forth. But, you know, now I'm out there with myself and uh, three, sometimes four of the lads, depending on obviously the volume. We've got some local authority work as well, again. And the likes of what's going on just now, you know, we move up, we move a variety of people. We've moved, we've moved people from football players, the doctors, the nurses. But as I said, you know, it's not just about moving furniture, Steve, you know. I mean, there's lots of people out there that's got serious mental health issues. The, the social housing contact that we do is obviously there's a lot of people with mental health issues, people with disabilities and so on. And you need to understand all that. Yeah. You know, you need to bend over and you need to accept these people are less fortunate than us and you know, you need to go above and beyond for these people. And absolutely and you know, try and get them, you know, it can be senior citizens, it can be dementia, it could be Alzheimer's, it could be all these things. And you need to make it as comfortable as possible for these people. Yeah, because it's quite a it's quite a stressful thing anyway, isn't it, John? I mean, moving moving houses right up there with death and all the rest of it. So you've got quite a, a caring approach to it. You 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 weigh up who it is you're dealing with. You try and take de stress the situation. You package the stuff up well. So you're trying to make it the least stressful that it could possibly be for them. Well, Steve, we we have. It's, I don't I don't ask everybody. I don't speak to everybody. I leave it their own choice. And you know, if you if, if people were to go into trust pilot, I think our name speaks for itself. Probably a hundred between a hundred and a hundred and ten five star reviews. And yeah, it's I've seen just, that. It's, the, it's not just the five star reviews, Steve. It's the paragraphs mm -hmm. that the people take time to write. That's that when somebody does that you know then that you've done something right you know, so. yeah i've seen i've seen those testimonials john because i had a had a look through that because we like to get a and this is this is what this is about as well you know it's get, getting a feel for the business you know and within our directory a lot of the people they, they, they want to know the business they want to know what makes them tick and that sort of those standards that you've got are looking after the client the testimonials that you've got from existing clients about what you do that's real proof positive that you do what you say and you deliver and and what areas do you cover then John? Well Steve, we actually have a standard national which allows us to, to effectively uh, trade within the British Isles which is Northern Ireland, Wales, Scotland and England. We want to go in and we can't get in Republic of Ireland uh, obviously because that's part of Europe. Uh, so if we want to take get jobs sent there then we, we need to use networking techniques. But as I said you know uh, even even going to Ireland now you know I've decided now uh, you know that I try to kind of do everything up and down our country now you know without you know in, in the Scottish Islands 
England and Wales, but you know, we we did jobs all over all over Britain, all over Scotland. There was Nile two weeks ago as well. Uh, I've decided not to go to Ireland for obvious reasons. Uh, I won't entertain. It's not about money with me, Stephen. As I said, I'm very, very awake. I want to work with people that's awake. I want yeah, yeah. to trade with people that's awake. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and money's second to it for me. This, yeah, yeah. Is about, this is about doing right yep. for my grandkids, you know. And yeah, I absolutely agree. Business for them. As I said, you know, I've, I've, I've come up the hard way, you know, came for the housing schemes and so on and worked my way up. But it's not been easy. But I've managed to carve something and I've managed to give my family a half decent living. 2008 was nearly taken away and uh, I'm not taking it away this time either, Steve. If I, don't, I hope you don't mind me saying that, you know. But Yeah, no, 100%. Uh, no. So uh, obviously going across from the ferries now, you know you know the paperwork that's involved and so on and so forth. And I think, you know, the, the job's hard enough without red tape, Steve. Yeah, 100%. I mean, we're living in this world of rules and regulations and it's it's just not it's not making for a pleasant environment for anybody. Uh -huh. So so again, a, a touch of old normal is always welcome. John, you know, a, a cup of tea and a blether goes a long, a long way in Scotland oh, and, you know, people, right. lots of people moving to Scotland. Do you, would you, you, you guys would go down I to England and pick up? There. I've got to agree with you. You know, I mean, obviously the prices in London are fairly coming down now, but obviously the prices in Scotland and I think across the board are actually rising now, to be honest. You know, it cannot continue like that. There are obviously reasons for that, as well as yeah, yeah. the stamp duties and all, all the kind of. And there's know, a bit of nesting, a bit of nesting going on. You know, people want to be I, where they want to be, so they'll pay uh, any price for it. Yes, yes, um, and and it's sad, it's sad at times as well because you know, not not myself as a company. You know, when I take a volume from somebody, and if anybody doesn't know what volume is, I'm basically going to. To, to take an inventory from a client, which has been difficult at times because some people don't want you in the house, some people are fine with it. But as I said, you just got to go along with it. Sometimes we try to do a lot of things over the telephone with the, with the way of a paper exercise, you know, to try and get the ingredients of the home. So that, that lets us calculate, you know, what that client's got. So then can, but once we calculate, I got a, a system called CubeMaster and that calculates what's known as a cubic capacity. And from that cubic capacity, then we can pair a vehicle and staff that job accordingly. And again, from that cubic capacity, you know, we, which is very important, which is volumetric weight, you know, you want to know that you're running lawfully. You don't want to be overweight, you know, you don't want a wee kid to run it in front of you. You're sitting mm -hmm. there on a 15 ton motor with 17 and a half ton on it. You mm -hmm. don't want that. So that's why we, 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 what we try to do things right, Steve. And you see these boys with looting vans out there, and no disrespect, they serve a purpose. Mm -hmm. but you know, a looting van, if you put any more than 350, 400 cubic foot on a looting van, that vehicle is grossly overweight. Because yeah, yeah. these vehicles weigh about two and a half ton, and you can't put any more than a ton on them. And a ton is nothing. So, yeah, so you know, there's, there's a lot more involved than just moving furniture. It's about how people are feeling. Who these people are that you're moving? What these people? How they're living? You know, do they have mental health issues? Do they do they have disabilities? What's going on? And you've got to get a real feel for it. And you've got to yeah. get. A, I feel I'm a people's person, Steve. Yeah, yeah. I, I, you know, I like to break barriers, and, and, and I actually come away and we're friends. We I've made so many friends with us in, in this in this industry. Very know, important. Uh, you know, and that's very important to me. You know, Absolutely. And, and John, so so somebody considering moving to Scotland, they could either hire a, an English or a Welsh or a Northern Ireland removals firm, or they could hire you because it's, they've still got to go both ways anyway, one one empty load yeah. one way anyway. Somebody's moving from Scotland, from England to Scotland, my personal opinion, choose a Scottish company. Why? Mm -hmm. Labour rates. Labour rates. Okay, the labour rates are, 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 you know, a lot cheaper for a Scottish company. Than what it is for an English company. So if you if you call, if you want to move, obviously it's even harder to get the inner circles of, the, of London due to the, the, the emissions and the LEZ compliance. You need to run with Euro Six and motors and all that. You know, nobody's, got, nobody's got a hundred grand to buy a brand new removal truck anymore, Steve. You know. Mm -hmm. So you know what you've got to do is I tend not to take businesses into the inner circles of London for obvious reasons. Mm -hmm. You know. So you sit and when you when you've got people uh, coming from the outskirts. Of, South, East, North East, North West, Manchester, they, all these places and they're moving up to Scotland. The more south you go, the more they're selling their house for. Yeah, there's a huge, huge amount of activity. So, and again, we've got customers nationwide. So, so if people are, are moving to, to, to Scotland or Scotland to England, then you're a, you're a good bet for them or, or anywhere in Scotland. 
would that be kind of the, the market that you're looking at? Definitely, Steve. Definitely. And a selling point for me is, is, is purely labour rates. I mean, we've we've looked at things and, and we we treat everybody the same. You know, it's not about who you are, what you are, and you know how much money you've got. That's not how it works with us. Some of these bigger companies, you know, they'll send estimators out and they're, and they're, they're evaluating people. To me, you're a man or you're a woman, Steve. When I look at you and, and, and I've got your volume as, say, for talking, say, 2,000 cubic foot, and you're moving to Danone and I've got a ferry that's going to cost 250 pounds to put us across for 10 metres in the ferry. I'm looking at that and we're looking at labour rates, we're looking at the fuel consumption. That's what we do. And uh, as I said, when you look at our labour up here, the cost of labour up here in Scotland is in comparison to the south of England, London and beyond. is a massive difference. So it's yeah. a no-brainer to choose and it's a, something. And it's a very fair pricing model there. So everybody, is, you've got a... a a fair way of calculating the cost of the job and estimating the job. But listen, John, so people get in contact with you, they can, they can visit the website, they can fill in the form, they can pick up the phone, plenty of ways to get in contact with you. 100%. You know, you can get us on 01475 783048. Mm-hmm. That's McCrory's Removals and Embercloud. Our website, www.embercloudremovals.co.uk. at gmail.com. The girl in the office is my wife, cracking lady. Her job is... Basically looking after his all, and she looks after the clients as well. Why do you say one other thing? Nicola does, you know, Nicola does all the quotations. That's the daughter, and she plays a big, big part as well. It's a family business, and as I said, if anybody choose, choose, chooses our company, I can guarantee you. You'll get, you'll, you'll get a 10-star service. Absolutely. Tip my hat to you, John. It's a great business, and I, I hope you do. I hope you continue to do well and, and, and thrive and flourish in this uh, very difficult market, but I think good good people deserve to get good results, so I, I'm sure you will anyway. But thank you very much for today. It's been an absolute pleasure. You too, Steve. Thank you, and take care. Take care. All the best. Team.